Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High. Excuse me. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rika Kudash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shall a warm also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yara Yala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And this is another quick hit, which the title is going to be something like um, Heed, Heed to Reprove Like a Man. Take to correction like a real man because many of us we get offended when we get corrected this is a real demon that you really need to pray to the most high yahweh shimmy or shai to take away from you correction is part of growth none of us is perfect okay we learn more things every day we grow every day so you're not perfect you can do things that are, that are incorrect and the most I yell about Shimei Oshai has put the spirit on certain people them elders you know them camp leaders um, them, them bishops you know even fellow brothers man you know the most I has kept the spirit on certain men to reprove you to, to give you correction you know but some people get offended by this correction and they give uh they give um a, a whole big space to to them demons to to overcome their spirit and we can see lots of people are falling off this truth because of this spirit that they have and this spirit is connected to pride and remember the most high yahweh shemi Shai hates pride because this is one of the the major characteristics of the wicked esau edom those who never want, who never want to be corrected who never wants to take heed to correction they are destined for destruction now this is the book of second timothy the fourth chapter i'll start from the second verse it says preach the word the instant in season out of season reprove rebook exhort with all long suffering and doctrine you see the most high really has kept the spirit on certain men to fulfill this talk right here you know we have certain men starting from the other apostle to her to the rest of them are apostles to them leaders elders you know the most i has kept the spirit on these men to preach the word in season and out of season and you can only find great millstone is one of the few camps that's out there teaching either in winter in the rainy in any 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 kind of weather the rest of them camps they they retreat during winter and when it's summer again they all come out you know and it says reprove rebook exhort with all long suffering and doctrine great millstone is known as that calm that rebukes that reproves that exhorts with all long suffering and doctrine this is great millstone right there in that scripture right there this is great millstone if any brother goes off they will be sure that someone is right there to correct you and this is the right spirit because if you don't get corrected you keep doing that wrong thing that you've, you've done before you you keep doing it and it becomes bigger and major destruction to yourself a stumbling block to yourself you see and the scripture tells you that you know a, a, a child that the most i um, love it you know he chastises it just roughly paraphrasing you know you can't have a child and your child keeps doing things that are wrong and you don't chastise him you don't correct him that child grows up to be a demon so correction is part of growth as a matter of fact correction is growth it says for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables why because many of them hate that correction when you correct them you tell them you prove them you tell them ah you're going wrong this is not they don't want correction they think they got it all figured out you know this is a really wicked spirit you want to avoid another scripture to let you know is the book of second timothy 3 16 it says all scripture 
is given by inspiration of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Oshai and is profit profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. In order for you to be instructed in righteousness, you damn definitely need to be corrected, man. Because we all came from wicked and destructive ways, you know. We're actually cleaning ourselves and trying to walk in this righteousness, trying to become better men, you know. So we all definitely need instruction. And once you're, once you're that kind of person that you're willing to be corrected, man, you're going to grow in an outstanding way. You're going to learn a lot of things. It's going to make you more humble. The light of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to shine upon you. You get more understanding, man. This is one trick, you know. But certain men, you know, they got that pride inside. Once you correct them, you become their enemy. You know, once you correct them, they be like, oh, no, 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 no. They don't want to be corrected. This is a very wicked spirit, man. You know? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 32. I'll start from verse 17. It says, a sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an, find it an excuse according to his will. And this is the situation with many brothers, man. They get corrected always want to find that excuse to come out perfect you know then then it turns to something else you know you become a demon many of them get kicked out of the camp you know just because they don't want to be corrected and this is wicked we also in this camp here in italy we had a brother oh, 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 bro, the brothers are actually my brothers are actually those who are doing the will of the most high Shai. but we had a brother actually a israelite you know who never wants to be corrected once you try to correct him that demon jumps on him you know and this is very wicked this is not something you really want to have man open your ears be humble enough to be corrected correction is growth okay it says a sinful man will not be reproved but find it an excuse according to his will a man of counsel will be considerate but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear even when of himself he has done without counsel so you see now i want to go up a little bit verse 14 it says whoso feareth yahweh shemi shai will receive his discipline which reproof and correction is all part of it it says and they that seek him early shall find favor he that seeketh the law shall be filled wherein but the hypocrite will be offended thereat. You see, a hypocrite is going to be offended when, when he gets corrected, when he gets reproved, when he gets checked. You know, that's a demon you don't want on you. So, I just wanted to share this quick thought. Hopefully, it was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemiel Shai. On to the next one. Shalom.